Some of you have been asking about the type of software that I use to get the special effects like I did on the birds with the bubbles and different things. And I use the Corel software. Anyway, I thought I would share some of the information with you today. When you pull up your screen on your uh, Corel Video Studio Pro, you go into File and you go down to where you insert. It says Insert Media File to Timeline and you can insert a video um, or onto your main screen there by doing by clicking onto that and it comes up into your videos and then you pick something um, like uh, for instance uh, this is in one of my videos here let's see which one this is okay and this is one with the birds and it just brings it to your timeline and then another way you can do it is you go into File and you can actually insert it into your library. And when you do that, it is saved over in this area like these files are. And then you can pick and choose when you're um, adding, uh, splicing videos together or you're cropping them or you're adding photos and all. And you can do that. Okay, we're going to go into File, Timeline insert video and we will pick a video let's try this one here that came up of a deer so then you can start going through your video and say that's all you want of it okay you click on it left click and then right click and it says split click and you've split it you can go up to file go to edit the second one just edit and click take a snapshot okay what it did is it took a still shot of that picture right there so you can save that if you want to insert that somewhere else then go back down to here and you can run your video and say you want to take some of that out see how far you want to go um, okay on this one all right there's a little different shot. Say you didn't want to run it that long, you can you right click on it and it says split clip. Okay, and then you can click on this again, right click and delete it. So then you actually splice these two pieces together and make it shorter. Okay, and then this is something else that you can do. Let's try this one there, see what that is. Okay, that's another um, deer. So you run that a little bit. You want to remove that where it's just showing its legs. So you back back up a little bit. Okay, there's where the face is. Okay, so about right there, you click on it, then you right click and you split it. Okay, then you run the, the rest of that. Let's say you want a better shot. See? Alright, there's another shot there. So you right click again and it's highlighted and then you can actually remove that piece and you're cropping it you're making it shorter you're slicing it together and just getting what you want add a picture while the video is going on um, you can actually take this picture and drag it down here to your second line where it shows the two movie wheels okay and there it is there okay and then you can put it anywhere you want. When you run that on the video, you've got the actual video. And there you got your picture up there. So you can add, you know, different pictures to your videos just for a little chain. Okay, somebody was asking me about the special effects that I had used on one of my videos. Like here's the bubbles in that picture that I had on that video there um, that I had used at one time. Okay, I'm going to give you all an example of what you can do. Like here's the balloon. So say you just drag it down and put it on there. And then in a, whatever video you're using, it looks like there's balloons out. And you know, bubbles. I said balloons. The bubbles. It looks like there's bubbles there. Okay, and um, there's a lot of different options. There's where you have the, the double wheels here where you can insert the picture on top of the picture or the video. Uh, I believe this is where you put the text, where you type. There's the audio there, and there's also music. 
lot of good options that comes with this software. And it's it's very user friendly. The I used to use uh, Windows um, Movie Maker and this is a lot similar to that except this has a lot more features. Hope you enjoyed this explanation of how I use the uh, Corel software. I'm still learning myself. Um, a lot of it is you just kind of play around with it. And uh, Anyway, thank you for watching.